Hello everyone, it's King Gold Lewis here and welcome back to Naruto Rise of a Ninja. We are continuing on with Naruto's legacy and we're about to head back to Leaf Village, so let's get on to it. Here we are, made it back to the village. Hello, Naruto. It's a beautiful day today, isn't it? Everything in the village seems to be calm, but you should still keep an eye out. You never know what's there for you to find, or if someone might need your help. If you want to earn the respect of the people in the village, you have to help them. This will make them happy. When people are happy with you, they will help you with your mission. When you wish to train and progress as a ninja, be sure to visit one of your masters. You can see where they are by looking at your map. As you receive missions, these will also appear on your map so that you'll always know where you need to go. The most important missions will be highlighted in red. That's all for now. Good luck, Naruto. Okay, you now have access to the mini-map. All of your quests will be identified here. Look for the scroll icons to acquire new missions. Remember that orange scrolls indicate quests, which will increase your health, while blue scrolls indicate missions, which will increase your chakra. The orange cross and blue cross indicate your objectives. Your most important missions will be highlighted at all times. All right. Uh, I see a orange scroll on the mini map, so let's head there. Nah, it feels good to explore the village, roam around, just like the old days. Uh, I think we're heading to Aruka and go to the noodle shop and try to help reopen it. Alright, here we are. Yep, the noodle shop in Aruka Sensei. I'm sorry, Naruto. Seems like there's a problem with the ramen shop and it can't open yet. Maybe you can talk to Teuchi and see if you can help him out. Alright, we got 10 people happy now. And learned some money. Okay. Press LB to access your inventory. Okay. I don't have time for this. I can't open my store until I pay for this ingredient delivery. And I don't have the coins they want. Alright, there's some coins scattered around the area that we can collect. And there are some in trash cans too. Find 10 coins. Alright. Start off, we got one right here. You have acquired a coin. Ancient coins and gold coins can be traded to the various merchants. In exchange for new equipment, some coins may be hidden inside breakable objects. Approach the object and press X to break it open. Okay. Alright, here's another one right here. We got two now. Oh wait, I saw one up there. Uh, hold on. Can we get up there? No, I think... I think we need a double jump in order to get that one. But we can get these ones over here. Alright, four, five over here. Uh, come on. I want to get up here so I can... Ah, can I not get up there? Hold on. Gotta be a way. There we go. Alright. Let's see where else. Where else? Run right here. Six, seven... I up here. Uh, I can't make that jump. No way. Darn it. And I can't double jump yet. I haven't unlocked that one yet. Okay. Where, where is another one? Wait. 
Then we go to this one. I right, eight. Come on, you tell me I can't make that jump? What if I just do this? There we go. Nine. Now we just need one more. Trash can right here. Okay. Oh, break it. There we go. I right, bring the coins back. All right, here you are, sir. You're a lifesaver, Naruto. I can open my shop now. Here, why don't you take this bowl of ramen as a reward? All right, got six people happy, and we've got our chakra up, along with some money that and ramen. Done, Naruto. You've earned this. Thanks, Uruka Tensei. This ramen's the best. Don't forget to come see me at the school when you're ready to train. Ramen shop is now open. Uh, you open the ramen shop. Eating ramen replenishes your health. You can buy ramen at the shop to take with you on your missions. You can um, also deliver ramen and take ramen to um, two cheese. I forgot how you pronounce his name. Customers. Delivering ramen will earn you rios, I believe. We're just going to call them dollars, okay? All right, we'll earn money and make the villagers happy. So I remember, yeah, there's a mini game where you can do to bring ramen to people. All right, so, hmm, 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 hmm. I want to go to this orange scroll since it's close by. These scrolls are for just anyone you know. But if you can bring me some coins, I might be persuaded to consider letting you acquire a scroll or two. I find 30 um, coins for the scroll owner. Okay, 30. All right, yeah. let's begin the search. I got six, just a few, a couple more to go. Then we're good. I got 20, just 10 more to go. All right, we got a gold coin, our first gold coin. You ju have just found a gold coin. These are rare coins are hidden all over in hearts or reach places. You can trade them in at shops to upgrade your equipment. All right, nice. So just 10 more and then we're able to open the, um, the scroll shop. There we go, now we got 30. Now we can open the scroll shop now. All right, let's head on back and give all this to that nice old lady. Leave me alone. Well done. As you guessed, I'm quite willing to trade scrolls for some of these coins. And if you should happen to find a rare coin, I have some rare and powerful scrolls that might be of interest to you. All right. Another shop open. Scroll shop is now open. Nice. Alright, you may now purchase scrolls to enhance your abilities. You may equip up to four scrolls at a time. Mix and match them to um, complement your fighting style. You must equip scrolls to use their effects. To equip a scroll, open your inventory and select scrolls. Scrolls effects are only active in battle combat. All right. All right, another shop looks like it needs open. So, let's try help open it. Oh no, my stock of calligraphy brushes are sold out. I need coins so I can buy more. All right, now this one needs to be um have 20 coins to open all right we already got five and now six this shouldn't be too bad all right getting coins already seven eight all right 15 coins okay we're nearly done we're nearly there and then after that 
um, there'll be one more shop to open and then I'm gonna get started on the first mission that we can do. All right, 18, two more, two more coins. Let's see. Gotta keep looking around. Oh, there's another one right here. And I saw another one right here. Right nice. Now let's go to the bookstore owner. All right, let's head on back. All right, we are back, mister, with all your coins. Here you go. Wonderful. I can work on that order now, and my customers will be happy. You can come back anytime if you need a book. Just bring me more coins. All right, nice. Health is going up and up. I know the bookstore is now open, so there's one more shop that we're going to do. And after that, we're going to the Bruce Blue Scroll, which is a mission. Here we are at the last shop that needs help opening. Not now, Naruto. I'm out of materials and can't get anything done. If only I had some more coins, I could start working again. But don't worry, I can help out. Collect 25 coins to open the weapon shop. Alright, 25 now. <laughs> Okay, I see one more right there. And... Alright, return all the coins back to the weapon shop, finally. Okay, now we're done with the boring part of this. So we're gonna return all the coins back to the weapon shop owner, and then we're gonna get started on our first mission. Alright, I'm back with the coins. Wonderful! I can open the store now. Bring me more coins and I can craft items for you. Hi, yeah. right, finally done with all them shops. Now let's head on to the blue scroll and actually do something. The weapon shop is now open. Finally, now that that's over, we can head over to the blue scroll. Man, though, that was kind of boring for me, just running around collecting coins. But, you know, at the same time, it was also pretty fine just exploring the whole village once again. Man, I had good times playing this game. I had fun doing the battle mode, too. Alright. Looks like we're heading to the Hokage building. Oh, wait, no, we're going to Aruka Sensei, which is over here. He's going to teach us a couple moves. All right, there you are. There you are. Let's get started. We'll go over your Shadow Clone Jutsu. Review the Shadow Clone Jutsu with Aruka. All right. Oh man, I gotta take my time here so the game can process what I'm doing. Alright, there we go. Use their Shad Clone Jutsu to break down the old door back. Which is right here. So there's gonna be different levels of Jutsus. There's gonna be a level 1 Shad Clone Jutsu, which is the one we already got. There's gonna be a level 2 which will be strong enough to break this rock right here. And there's going to be a level three, which will be able to break um, this metal door. Now, uh, if you attempt to break the door when you're not ready for it, this will happen. Yep, just like that. And the same thing can be said about the rock too. If you try to go for it when you're not ready to, it won't work. So right now we're only strong enough to do this wooden door right here. Nice. Alright, we our chakra has upgraded. That's good. Now we can use the Shadow Clone Jutsu. 
you have received training points. Spending training points allows you to learn combos and improve your jutsu. Visit a master to train and improve your abilities. All right. There we go. So let's see if we can learn anything from Aruka Sensei. Wait, I see something up there. Another coin. There we go. All right, let me talk to Aruka. Let me see what I can do right now. It's great to see you applying yourself. Uh, let's see here. What can we do? All right. Uh, okay, I'll do this one. I'll keep that one. Okay, let's head to this orange scroll right here. Oh. looking for help so when you have a happy villager you're talking to you can talk to them to ask for directions all right so we gotta look for Konohamaru so we gotta go up to a happy villager let's see and ask for directions all right there's one right here all right see it points you to where he's at they'll tell you all right, this way. Uh, nope, can't go over there yet. So he's somewhere over here. I know the exact um the exact um place. He's like on a rooftop. All right. Alright, so we gotta get to a rooftop, which is up here, and then he's gonna be right here, against the wall. Look at him. <laughs> he's literally just hiding right there. Wow. Well, you found me, I guess. But my disguise was so good, I don't understand how. I got a new memo clip. Okay, so we're gonna meet Konohamaru at the women's bathhouse. Uh, so we're gonna teach him how to do a sexy jutsu. Which is kinda messed up to teach a child that kind of trick, but you know, we gotta do it. Uh, Naruto, why are we here anyway? Shouldn't we be at the training fields for this? <laughs> nah, trust me, this is where we need to be. Alright, teach. The sexy jutsu. Down, sideways, let go. Down, side. Oh my goodness. Down, sideways, let go. Trigger. Down, sideways, let go. And that's the trick. <laughs> okay, alright, so we learned the sexy jutsu. 
I enter the woman's bathhouse. All right. So, yeah, I already know how this works. So, when you guys see an angry villager and you see a heart, just one heart, well, if you see hearts in general, that means um, you can perform a sexy jutsu on them. Now, if you see one heart, you can perform a level one. If you see two hearts, a level three, I'm at level two, and if you see three hearts, level three. All right. All right, and that's how it works. <laughs> Sorry, Naruto. It's because I'm the grandson of the Hokage. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Now, I prepped you so you're ready to try the sexy jutsu again. Practice! All right, Naruto! Shut <laughs> You got it! Way to go, Konohamaru! Um, you know, we should probably get going now, Konohamaru. It's been a while, and Maleki said Ebisu Sensei would be out looking for you. We wouldn't want your sensei to catch us here, right? I found you. You, what are you doing here? What have you been doing with the honorable grandson? Hey, stay out of this! I'm learning how to beat my grandfather so I can win the title of Hokage! Honorable grandson, stop this! Naruto's turning you into a delinquent. Only my special training can put you on the fast track to becoming Hokage. Oh yeah? Well, I'll show you! All right, so we're gonna perform the sexy jutsu on this guy. All right, let's do it. Wait, how was it? All right, like this. There we go. Wow, Naruto, that was awesome. Oh man, I wanna be Hokage so bad, but I keep messing up. You think it's that easy? Huh? To be Okage, you have to be the greatest of all ninja. You have to prove yourself so everyone believes in you. Look at me, I've been through a lot already. I've been ignored, pushed away, and treated like I had the plague or something. But I found one person who believes in me. So you better make sure that you're ready. For what? For lots of sweat and tears while you're learning to be a ninja. You see, there's no easy way to becoming Okage. Believe it. All right, a little inspiration words from Naruto there about becoming Hokage. Got five people, I believe it was, happy. Okay, well, I'm going to stop the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, the king will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone. See you next time.